Hey guys, Darth Glorik here, and welcome back to the Frozen Tundra of Old, where we just arrived on the planet, and now we are getting ready to see what mysteries lay in store for us. And as you can see, it's very stinking cold here. Alright. So. So, there, we, have, we have some options about what we want to do first. Um, I am tempted to try and hit... I guess we will probably just hit stuff that's along the way. We'll just do it super standard, but once we have a little more stuff explored and we're actually looking around, I think we're going to try to hit the, uh, hit the vault as soon as possible. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Yeah, because, uh, the faster... Down the icy mountain? Trust me. Town Hill's always more fun. True, thank you, Drac. Anyway, um, the faster we can get this, this cold a little less aggressive, the better. Am I supposed to gun it down this part of the mountain? Did I miss a turn? Oh. Check the map here. Oh, there we go. Wow, you can't see freaking anything out here, man. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hard reverse. Hang on, I think I saw. The visibility is low. There we go. I see tracks. Follow the follow those tiny little markers. Turns out they will be invaluable. I don't think you're supposed to force this thing in here, but I'm going to anyway. We're out of the worst of it. Temperature should be manageable now. Holy crap. Uh-oh. Oh, holy crap, they are bad guys. Oh! Show up just in time to save everybody. Alright, go ahead and check the... Okay, they're like right in front of us. Huh. Okay. Wait, hang on. Let me put that away. There we go. Alright, back to the Nomad. Huh, maybe you were supposed to force the Nomad in there. I wasn't totally sure. Oh. The good news is, we're out of the crazy, crazy blizzard. So things are easier to see now. Alright. Somewhere in here, there's a... Oh, look. Yeah, you do need help, bro. Wow. That's right. I like Drax's strategy. Why were Angara attacking us? Pathfinder, I detect a data pad nearby. You got it, like a location on me? There we go. Alright. Uh, translated. From Salish, which maybe is the Angaran language, I don't know. Um, I've provided the location for the new drop point. Supply drop is scheduled for later today, so get there quickly. If the stars are with us, the drop will contain shield tech. I must remind you again about discretion. You are not to reveal your mission to anyone. If Ephra hears we're building a stockpile, he'll take action. We must keep this up for as long as possible. Skies guide you, Axul. Axul is stockpiling supplies. Why? Pathfinder, I have informed Olisk the drop point is secure. Good. The resistance should get their supplies now. Yay! That's good news. Okay. I think I might have 
screwed that up. I don't know. Maybe I missed a turn or something. All right. Like I said, ultimately our, our main goal is going to be we are we are going to try to hit the whatever it's called. The uh, we are going to try to be hitting the. Uh, I lost my train of thought here. The vault as soon as possible, um, because our ultimate goal, if we can at all help it, is going to be. Uh, because the faster we can clear up all these blizzards and snowstorms, the better. It'll make general travel on this planet easier. It'll make fighting the cat easier. Everything will be easier once we're not dealing with the blistering cold, so. Seriously, Ryder. You didn't bring any music? Oh, for the love. I swear I will turn this car around. Keep an eye on your sensors. The temperature's gonna drop. Minus 52 degrees. I don't know how much Celsius is, but that's pretty stinking cold. No matter if it was in Fahrenheit. I think Celsius is like Fahrenheit but worse or something. So that's pretty stinking cold. Oh, dear. <laughs> like I said, I'm almost certain you're not supposed to be taking this thing up here. No! Ha, ha, ha. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it, I'm sorry! I made a mistake! Please! Bail out! Okay, nobody move. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Oh, dang it, that's for them. Crap, I didn't realize that. Okay. Hang on. Can we, like... Yeah, there we go. Can we go back here? I somehow got turned around. I didn't realize that that was to go save the Moshai, which is certainly on the, on the to-do list, but I would see if we can hit the vault before saving the Moshai. So, this is certainly what I would prefer. So let's call the Nomad back here. Oh, lol, holy crap. <laughs> it blends in so well. Didn't even see it. Alright. So, can we zoom out a little bit? There we go. Now we can see what Volt has to offer a little bit. Okay, um, let's go ahead and grab that. Down the mountain we go. Wee, full speed ahead, no fear. Oh, back out to our blinding conditions. Follow the lights. Holy crap. I think it's off the cliff. Oh! Turns out it wasn't that deep of a cliff. You just can't freaking see anything. There we go. We found the little crevasse. Temperature's back to normal. Good. Progress. Okay, now let's go ahead and check the maps. Just to give myself an idea about which one we're actually headed to. Lots of respect for the Angara. The way they fight, <laughs> it's almost Krogan. They're a tough bunch. I wouldn't mind hanging out with the Resistance at some point. Learn some new things. Make some new friends. Yeah, you do that, Liam. Undocumented mineral nearby, Pathfinder. Lithium. Isn't that the stuff in batteries? Alright. Next closest marker. Go to Hajara. Alright. Man, the Nomad is awesome. It just works so well. Whoa. It just it's so much fun to drive and stuff. That often I don't often teleport across large distances. I'm logging any debris. Hoping we can get searches going for initiative dead. Maybe focus on the living. Well yeah, but why shouldn't we also work on recovery? Because it looks like you treat your dead better than you treat Krogan. Ouch. Not untrue though. Okay. Well, 
What are we doing here? Go to Hajara. Plus, there's a mission. Okay. Automated protocols activated. Good. Forward station. Give me forward station. I need to replenish my life support. That's a bright side, yeah. Whatever you think of it, this is a beautiful planet. Indeed. Thinking about a frozen moon I was once stranded on, almost lost my good toe. <laughs> Thanks, but Looks I don't like care about mining. Sort. Wonder what they're doing out here. Let's see if someone here needs help. All right, let's go say hi to the neighbors. <laughs> His name is Irritated Researcher. That's not good. Array. Most likely for planet wide communications. Makes sense. Anything on that interference the researcher talked about? I am detecting a signal. It is faint, but this equipment is sensitive. Pathfinder, I also observe a regular pattern in this emitted signal. It may be artificial. Cat? The signal has no identifiers. It is possible the cat are disrupting or listening in on Angara communications. Hang on, let me go ahead and back up here. Oh, okay, that's actually really far away. I thought that was right around the corner, so we are just going to talk about that one instead because it is within reach. Get some more of that. All right. Sup? just attack an entire cat base. You're that alien people have been talking about. Some say we can't trust you. But if you're here to fight cat, that's good enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Cat kill people. They take our families and we never see them again. Anyone who fights against that has to be better than them. True story. So, will you fight them? I know the location of the labor camp where they took my uncle. Absolutely. I love killing cat. I'll get your uncle. Here's the nav point of the labor camp. Please hurry. Nilge may not have much time. Okay, let's check the map here. See what's the next closest objective. Search. Ooh, memory trigger. We're gonna put one there. Apparently, there's also. Oh, that's back to the Tempest to uh, actually turn turn it in. So, okay. Let's see here. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's roll. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that didn't quite go according to plan, but we're good. Bet you've seen some real craziness. Not just in Helios. Save it, kid. Go bug someone else. The hell? What was that for? I've seen a thousand humans like you. Don't make me pretend you are the one who won't die. You're what, two? Come back when there's hair on whatever it is you have. <laughs> Poor, he's so grouchy. <laughs> Alright, let's go and turn that off, because now we know where we're supposed to be going. Still, you can't really br blame Drac, though, because, I don't know, he's seen stuff. He's been around so long. It makes sense that he's a, that he's not, you know, that he's seen so many people die that it's probably hard to stay very loyal to anybody. I mean, not like loyal, that's not even the right word. It's just, it's probably difficult to get attached to people just because you outlive everybody. So I, I, can, I can sympathize with that. That would be rough. Trigger. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Yeah, we will access that further in time. Okay, what's next? 
Uh, nav point on bold for the missing supplier. Okay, Return I guess that's what's next. On the Hyperion to investigate further. No fear. Tell you what we need to do. We need to look into getting some good mods for the uh, Nomad. There's some good stuff on the on the Nexus that I've seen. Some of it would be helpful, like in like maybe enhanced life support or something, but that'd be pretty cool. The heck is this thing? Oh, and there's evildoers. All right, everybody, fight for your lives. Sorry, Jack. Yeah, you want to get close to the party? Is that what you want? Peasant? Man, I love that pistol. Wow, Drax not having any of it. He just pummels him. All right. What the heck is this thing? It's not even close to my objective either. Interesting. All right, well, hey, we killed some, we killed some cat, and ultimately that is a great thing. Got a little bit of loot, also never a bad thing. But we must push on to my objective. Do so they actually cross this bridge? Uh, I think so. If I never taste the Nexus rations again as long as I live, it'll be too bloody soon. Yours that taste. <laughs> we are nearing the nav point provided by Sokar Isof on Aya. <laughs> Flyer is dead. Found them. Scans reveal these crates contain Angaran weapons. Oh, really now? He never did specify what the supplier sold him. Oh, cat ambush. Looks like they think they're pretty fly for a white guy. Sorry, wrong button. Here's the nope. <laughs> she just sounds so resigned. And here's the ambush right on cue. Little cat. Apparently, he wants to play hide and seek, which is fine. We can play that game. There's also some sort of creature out there. Oh, lovely! Coward. All right. Life support's a little low, but we will find there. I think there was a drop point nearby, which is good. Can use that to heal up. 
Ranger armor. Well, that's lovely, but it's not the piece I need. I'm all I'm I am all, I'm all about. Oh, actually, it was the arms. I do need that piece. I just need just need the legs, and then I can wear the whole set, which I would love to do. Perfect. So let's go to the right. Having a vet like you makes me think we have a shot at this. Reminds me of a merc group I tangle with, led by this scarred Arcturian. You trying to tell me a war story? How about you just keep your head up? Fine. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Poor Drac. Liam is trying so hard to be friendly, and Jack Drac just wants none of it. Alright, so we could do this one. That's probably the next closest objective. So let's go save let's go save somebody. You think that uh, this facility right here is our objective? Uh, yep, I'd this say so. Oh, okay. Everybody out. All right, time to rescue some uncles. Enemies. They know we're here now. Yeah, I saw him move. Ow. Holy crap. Alright, I panic shot, I'll admit, that was a straight up panic shot. That one was not, however. There you are. Alright, worst shots ever. A lot of really bad shots, I'll admit that. Okay. So that wasn't the most that wasn't the neatest thing I ever done, but it wasn't terrible. The control panel is right there. Shut this down. You're free. Whoa! There we go. Saved it. Oh, heavens. Okay. Save people. Get me out of here. I'm gonna kill these kids. Yep, great shots, I know. I think that's it. <laughs> it's possible I was panic firing a little bit. But come on, who hasn't panic fired at least once or twice in their life? Okay, missed all of those shots, but it's fine. We got plenty of ammo. There we go, see, I can hit stuff. It's not all mistaken failure, just most of it. Very lucky you ducked. Thank you, Sam. I am aware that I am freezing my butt off. Thank you. <sighs> stuff to sell. Never turn down stuff to sell. Disable the fence. I have to get out. Calm down. You're free. free to... Disable the fence. Quick. 
I'm not getting away with this. Hey, stop! You're my objective. Dang it! Hold still, you idiot! You're my objective. Hey, dang it! Ambient temperature is normal. Can I talk to you now? Just in time. Not have given us another day at most. No thanks for Rana's jabs. If the cat can't handle being called mildly insulting things, that's on them, not me. <laughs> you see what I mean? We owe you. How'd you find us anyway? Your nephew, Skiat, was trying to get you rescued. Good boy. He's got potential, Nild. So you've said before. The resistance needs to be debriefed. We'll head back to base as soon as possible. What about the data drive? We have to deliver it to Buxel so she can start the analysis. Interesting. It seems we have to depend on our rescuer for more than a rescue. Can you deliver this drive to Tedjix? If we work together, no time will be wasted. Yeah, I got it. I'll go there as soon as I can. Perfect. Buxel will be in her workshop. I hope we meet again. Under better circumstances. True story. Oh, I leveled up! Good stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have six points now. We should probably spend it wisely. My charge could really use some leveling up. We might should just straight up level up all a whole bunch of my... We could level up two of these. Maybe we should do that. Uh, better head, better headshot weak point bonuses for my sniper, which obviously I use a lot, so that's good. And let's go ahead and level up my pistol, movement, pistol accuracy. Lovely. There we go. Give you that. Perfect. Open sesame. Anything fun? Got some stuff to sell. Looks like there's another chest over here. Some cat alloy. Some sort of terminal. That's not crazy exciting. Alright. Back to me ship. Or my, you know. Back to the Nomad. It's not really a ship. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Thank you, Sam. Okay. Uh, search for interference source. Alright, on to the next objective. We're going to look for interference source to help our Angaran friends. Remnant, stay on guard. Yeah, I saw that, but we're not going to go play with them. Yeah, we have other things to do. More important fish to fry, as it were. Picking up signal. You got skills hiding behind those reflexes. Who trained you? Did a couple of years in law enforcement. This is the source of that interference? It looks like a meteorite. It does look the like a meteorite. This is caused by the EM radiation it's emitting. I detect that. Detect light. Later, Adi. Kill him, kill him all. Emitted by that meteorite might be drawing the Adi, as well as driving them into a frenzy. Woo. How do we shut it off? Perhaps the scan will tell us more, Pathfinder. Yeah, I'm trying to scan it, you wouldn't let me. Pathfinder, I can modify your Omni tool to dampen the signal. Protect me, kids! I gotta it's scan it! Really aggressive. We are close to the source of the signal. Perhaps something about the frequency. Guys, protect me, I'm, I'm halfway done. Oh, nope, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, dang it! You interrupted my flamethrower, you stupid creature! Ah, uh, see how it's faster now? You're not even supposed to do it that way. I think we're safe for now. Sam, what exactly was going on here? The energies from this meteorite share similarities with the Scourge. It may have passed through it at some point. Interesting. I suggest we return it to the Nexus for analysis. 
we could learn more about the Scourge. True. Disrupting comms, driving wildlife into a frenzy. There's too much here to ignore. We need to study it. Hopefully the Hajara scientists won't have any more trouble with our comms. Yay! Alright. Pick up all the whole bunch of plates from the Audi. Which sounds like a car to me. Probably because it sounds like Audi. <laughs> but whatever. Alright, let's actually point to me. Why would you put me all the way over there? Point of interest. Recover the Remtech from the Remnant site on Vold. We could do that. Alright, let's go get PB's toy, shall we? Uh, okay, yeah. That way. Oh, the ice is slippery! <laughs> no traction. Like I said, no traction. <laughs> it's not my fault. falling into the first contact war. Which war? Sorry, kid. I know that was a big deal for humans. But honestly, I've had indigestion last longer. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, I see it. I don't see it. There we go. I was about to say, I'm hesitant to go in. I know there's going to be remnant all over this place. That's the nice thing about remnant. So long as you kill them, it usually doesn't piss them off. But too late now, they are now pissed off. Hey, welcome back from that awesome cut as my game froze, which is awesome, but it's fine because we're here again. Hopefully it doesn't freaking freeze this time. Oh goody, it didn't freeze, but now we have to do this. Uh, why? Hey, there we go. That did the job. This must be the piece of Remtech PB needs. Remtech. PB's term. Anytime we come across ruins like this, let's scrounge what we can. Ah, we, we done scrounged. And hopefully find out what our secret project is. Alright, we done scrounged. We are out of here. Screw those stupid Remtech puzzles. Alright, that was fun. Okay. Deliver the data drive to Bruxel. I guess we can do that. Okay. Let's roll. Oh, turned a little too sharp, but it's fine. Roll out. What's the biggest thing on Earth? Biggest animal? We had some extinct monsters back when the air was real rich, um, but when I left, suppose it'd be the blue whale. The blue whale. Ever fight one? Sure, why not? <laughs> hey, can you help me with something? There's a wraith cloaked near you. I lost its movement. Will you scan for it and let me know where it's hiding? My systems have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Found it. Got it. Over here. Nice. Tracking that thing all day. Thanks for the help. 
Do I get to meet the mystery sniper? <laughs> Only right. Come find me. Finding the mystery sniper. I'm really a normal temperature range pathfinder. Thanks, man. Nice shot back there. They're afraid of it. Thanks. My father taught me as soon as I was old enough to hold a gun. Life must be harsh out here. He taught you well. He's always prepared. Made sure I could shoot, hunt, and make a camp. Do the cat come around here a lot? Only some. Resistance patrols keep most from getting through. I pick off the stragglers. Usually wraiths like the one you helped me with. You ever miss one? Miss? Never. Stay safe out there. See you around. Yeah. Cute little objective. Is there another or something I nearby? Oh. Normal temperatures. I still get chills every time I glimpse one. What's your story? What you want? Are you here to observe the Yavara? What are the Yavara? Walk onto the frozen lake and you'll see them beneath the ice. They've lived on Vold for millennia. Stories about the Yavara are the only Angaran folktales that survive the Scourge. They're beautiful, intelligent creatures, our closest tie to our past. The ice do and they're your people will poach them right out of existence. Pardon? I haven't heard any reports of the initiative hunting on Vold. Not the initiative. Outlaws. They've killed two dozen in the months since they've landed. We have no resources to track these poachers, and the resistance is spread too thin. I'll take care of some poachers. Our only link to our history will disappear forever. Ryder, you need to stop those hunters. The Avara are vital to Angaran culture. We'll do whatever we can to help. I want to come with you, Ryder. I'll leave you to your work. It's all right. All right. That will have to go on our list. One thing at a time. That's Tetrix, according to my map. Let's go tell Buxel about her brother. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Ah, stuck on a rock. All right. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Thanks, man. Oh, that's you. Wait, put the brakes on. He got free and didn't even pay me a courtesy visit. Are you, Buxel? I have something for you. From my brother who can't stop being a hero? Yes, Anyik told me to expect you. My son Skiot said he'd send people after Nilge. I thought more lives lost. Nice to see I was wrong. Thanks for getting him out. Losing him would have set our efforts back months. Losing family is hard. I'm glad I could spare you that pain. Thank you. They talked about your abilities, but no one said anything about your kindness. Well, they should. I'm a nice oh. person. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. <laughs> She's also awkward Just when people decide. compliment her. She's like, ah. Pfft. This is a layout of the Ket Command Center. Entrances, exits, security. We'll be able to cripple their operations. Wait, there's something else here. Oh, that's not good. What? The base entrances are shielded and locked with a code which changes often. Metadata tells me they downloaded this weeks ago. The code is about to change again. If an attack is going to happen, it needs to happen now. Let me help. Tell me what to do. The code to disable the security shields is encrypted, but I'll keep working on it. I've sent you the map and a nav point for a side entrance that won't have as many guards. Go quickly. We'll be in touch. All right. Ooh, a container. With some stuff to sell. Never turn that down. Pathfinder Rider. It is wonderful to finally meet you in person. I'm Ari Vestry, scholar and chronicler. I've followed your activity with great interest. Chronicler? Like a historian? Quite so. Denied memory of the past or hope for the future, we become dust in a void. <sighs> It's a wonderful sentiment. My grandmother's words. She set me on this path. It is my life's work to document the events that shape our world. The arrival of visitors from beyond the galaxy is a significant development, of course. 
Is there anything we can do to help your work? I have always been curious about how the Ket invasion began. They must have records of first contact, and we have none of our own. Where would you get that information? The Ket are a military people. They must have logs. Perhaps they can be accessed from their base on Vol. Approaching it would be foolhardy. Still, if you find yourself there, please see what you can find. Okay. I'll leave you to your work. No, of course. I hope to speak to you in less frantic times. I would love to hear about your people. Cool. Alright, well, well, we will be at the base at some point anyway, so that's not a big deal. All right. There's another freaking mission out here. How is that possible? Oh, that's how. It's up it's above us. Okay, well that that makes me feel better. Okay, I need to do that, but Jaw said he wants to come, which is a little bit difficult. There's also more poachers that there's poachers that way too. Minerals that way, medical supplies, mineral, there's my iPad. The Ket base, far to the back. Interesting. Ah, and then of course rescuing rescuing the Mare Shy as well. But okay, let's see. Um, yeah, let's go back down. Okay. Old bones are getting Ooh. stiff. Do you have to hit every bump? <laughs> Sorry, bro. Okay. I don't know what to do next, but we, that is a pretty good spot, so I think we will probably call this episode here, and uh, we are at a good stopping place. We got a whole bunch done, and there's a whole bunch more to do, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're excited about knocking out Mass Effect Andromeda, and uh, we will talk to you guys later. Hit my outro. Hello, everybody. It is Argyle Mahala with Attitude. I've been nothing but nice the entire time. <laughs> I don't want to choose! No, don't make me do it! Don't make me do it! What the heck was that, Suvi? What was that? <laughs> Can I set up my own? <laughs> I don't want to choose between my old friends and my new friends. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and we will talk to you all later.